Creepings and Hallucinations. I'm Hikaru Star, your uh, uh, lovely host of uh, Shocking Theater. Uh, tonight, as you can see, uh, first off, look at the model. I mean, honestly, isn't isn't this beautiful? I decided for my uh, a costume. I, I, I was I was playing around a couple times and. Um, I decided to go with more of an Elvira-inspired look. I got the, got the hair. I, I got the dress. I, I made a purple instead of black. But I thought that that'll be great for a Halloween costume. For well, one Halloween costume. I'll have a different Halloween costume for tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, this is my little Halloween-inspired look. Since I'm hosting a horror movie, I thought go with a classic horror hostess as my look as for today's movie today's fractured feature presentation what should I say fractured freakcher presentation we bring to you a Spanish German Italian co-production that was filmed in 1969 with the title Los Monstros del Terra I hope you don't mind the the, 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 the bad accent I did but you know I, I, don't, I don't speak Spanish uh, um, it was released in Germany in 1970 Spain in 1971 and then in America straight to TV with a name Assignment Terror! Not a, not a, not a, a great name. At all. That's why I have it listed as The Monsters of Terror, the translated name. Because that's a nicer name, I think. It stars Michael Rennie, who was ill the day the Earth stood still, but he told us where to stand on our feet. And Paul Nashie from the uh, Wolfman series in Spain. This is um, a classic movie, a good movie, a beloved movie. So please enjoy uh, the man who came from Umo here on Shocking Theater. I can't hear anything. Umo 206 calling Earth. Reply, please. Contact me. Kirian Verna, surgeon, killed in war action. Maleva Kerstein, oh, doctor of biochemistry, boy, of course the killed in automobile first thing accident. I get is Both persons have required that. Characteristics and so lovely. Incarnated by our envoys. I still can't hear anything. Remember success of mission Why can't I hear anything? On exploiting to the full the superstitions prevalent among the Earth creatures. The first objective... Why, why can't I hear anything? I see video going through. Already going through on my video. But I cannot... Uh, see what I'm doing. Hear what I'm doing. I cannot hear it at all. Did my... My audio settings changed. I've been making fun of the movie right now, but, um... Okay, that's okay. Um... Okay, audio still working on my headphones. We're going to try this again. But the problem is I am not getting any audio. And that was um, really freaking me out. So I'm just going to...
do some minor changes here. Don't mind me. Okay. Let's see if this works. I am hearing things. It's just so tiny. Umo 206 calling Earth. Replies, please. Contact me. Kirian Zelna, surgeon, killed in war action. Maleva Kerstein, doctor of biochemistry, killed in automobile accident. Both persons have required characteristics and have been incarnated by our envoys. Okay, so what does any of this techno babble mean? On exploiting to the full the superstitions prevalent among the earth creatures. The first objective is Blaustadt. You can see his eyes. He's, he's looking directly into our soul. Oh, this is. Surf music. Oh, baby. One of these classes, not like the others. Guess which one? I'm not making fun of anybody's names. He is looking so seriously. I think he wants to eat me. You can eat me anytime there, wolf man. Figure out how I can do this here. This is the world we have to conquer. Its inhabitants are weak, slaves to their own passions and uncertainties. Couldn't we use atom bombs? Of course. Yeah, that would work they a lot easier, I think. Arsenal, but we need the planet intact. Why? How much time do we have? Very little. Our planet is now nearly at freezing point, and we still haven't discovered how to create an artificial sun. Or you could maybe uh, talk to people. No, why, 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 why destroy or dominate? You could just talk to the human race. The human race is, you know, not a bad human race. It's one of the best human races out there in the universe. These are the remains of the Count Janos Dimailov, the gruesome vampire who terrorized the people in the mystical regions of Transylvania. Oh, that looks like a skeleton with a stake through its heart. ...was to plunge a wooden stake into his heart. His magic, hypnotic power died with him. It was inherited only by those like myself, descendants of people who were attacked and contaminated by the vampire. For a few oh. moments, I shall hypnotize you and read your future... In your unseen please, heart. thanks. Please, you're not passion. looking at me. Jealousy. Remember what I told you. The passions and weaknesses from which our race is immune are the very ones to which the Earth creatures are prey. So maybe you could help them um, get beyond those passions and weaknesses, as you call them. Promise to tell his tonight. Why, why, why are you so eager to um, hurt people? Why? Why? Aliens are so weird. Not like me. I am perfectly normal. So dressed up. Oh, kitty. Hi, kitty. Best actor in the movie. Beautiful women are like powerful magnets. We shall use them to attract scientists, generals, statesmen with their vital secrets. Now that could work, but what what if they're what if they're um not straight, huh? Ever think about that? No, of course you didn't. No, 
Oh, why would you? Why would you even consider something? Like, ooh. Adult time. This is how you predict the future. What's going on now? I I I am lost. I have lost the plot. I don't know. If there's a plot, but I have definitely. I have definitely lost the plot. I am not seeing that in there. There we go. That is what I was looking for. Let's close this panel. Okay, no. Okay. This is what I was looking for. Sorry. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to deal with some moderation stuff, too. I got... I, I got... I have... Oh, my God, it's growing in... T Who put their intestines in the skeleton? So far, we have nothing to go on. No fingerprints, no known enemies. Looks like the work of a ghost. Let's start by ruling out ghosts. What about the gelatin substance found on the stake? Um. We sent it and the victim's clothing to the main laboratory. Kay. And uh, in a few days, we'll have some results. Can't get There's rid of the message, huh? That intrigues me. The absence of the skeleton exhibited mm. by Fezar in his show. Remember the legend. The only way to revive a vampire is to withdraw the stake from his heart. As far as I'm concerned, that's Delete this message. Is no more than a showman's gimmick. There must be a logical reason for its disappearance. You know, in this part of the country... As you can see, Henry, I'm completely snowed under with paperwork. Why don't you see what you can dig up for me? Right, sir. But don't bring any vampires into this office. Why not? I'm an what, what's wrong enemy. with vampires, huh? Vampires are nice people. They're just, they just need a little bit of blood once in a while. I dated a vampire a couple weeks ago, actually. Very pleasant date. Didn't like the taste of my blood. So it tasted like Sour Patch Kids for some reason. I don't even eat so Sour Patch alone. Kids. They make my lips go and they pop a pucker. Okay, so somebody brought their Halloween decorations inside it looks like. That did not sound pleasant. The Prince of Darkness sleeps soundly. Excellent material for our research. So what kind of research are you going to do? Become contaminated if his blood is injected into their veins? We'll soon find out. Well, I have no clue. I still have no clue what's going on. I I'm completely lost. Now this guy's walking down the street. I am completely lost. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Hello. Could you help me a moment? I'd like to, sir, but it's nearly closing time. I'm Inspector Toberman. Criminal investigation. Oh, a cap. In what way can I help? Do you have anything written by Professor Ulrich von Ferenczelan? That's a coincidence. No one has asked for one of his books in years. And you're the second person who's asked in only the last couple of hours. Can you describe the other person to me? It was really a couple. A tall, good-looking man and a very beautiful girl. Oh, thank you. But I did not ask for that book. The girl was strange. She had a very hard look in her eyes. Thanks. Go upstairs. That's where we have the archive section. And then ask for Carl. He'll be glad to help you find it. Thank you very much. You better follow him. Something suspicious about that man. He's a cop. Always suspicious of cops.
especially cops and libraries. In this economy. In Minecraft. Well, um, somebody vandalized that book. And that man. How many days is she going to be screaming? This way, gentlemen. Incision penetrating the endocardium, causing damage to the mitral valve. I call that a stab in the heart. I have something else to show you. Um, please, please keep that in your pants. Oh. It's a sample of the gelatin substance found on the victim's clothing. Dead, so you did keep it in your pants. That's good. It's composed of living cells. I can't identify. Oh, it's bubble tea. Main laboratory for a more exhaustive analysis. All right. Look at all this bubble popping. This may be the break we've been hoping for. Don't jump to conclusions, Henry. Apart from this gelatin, can you give me one shred of concrete evidence that ties in this murder with that of the showman at the fairground? Yes. Anthology of the Monsters by Professor Ulrich von Frankenstein. It's a study of the various legends of man-made. Um, yeah, that, that, I think it's supposed to be Frankenstein, but they spelled it weird. Be somewhere in the Valley of the Kings in Egypt. Nosferatu, the medieval vampire in the remote regions of Transylvania. The Golem, a giant of clay created in the ghetto of Prague. He was supposed to be in the movie, but um, budgetary cuts. Apparently, these pages refer to an artificial Thank human you. being created by Pharaxalan himself. Listen to the ending. I wish to create a perfect human being, selecting the best organs from different corpses. Uh oh, then I, I should, uh, I should, um, hide? I, I think that might be a good idea. I might just, um. If he's coming after perfect, I, I better leave. But look at the scams. Am I boring you, Eva? Not at all. You're boring me. The werewolf. Werewolf? The werewolf. Influenced by the full moon. In order to release him from this curse, it's necessary to shoot a silver bullet into his heart. Werewolf. The werewolf. I think so. I think when I was a child, my grandmother, or my nurse, I don't know which, told me about the werewolf. There, Wolf. Transformed into a wolf under the influence of a full moon. I'm sure there's another word to describe it. There, Wolf. It's no more than a country superstition. Yes, but. Listen. Sorry, I had to keep doing that joke. It was fun. That's a nice car. How can you afford that on a cop salary? Quiet. They're hunting weapons. Valdemar Daninsky. They're in Paul Nashi's grave. Soon we'll see the man. The myth. The legend. That is Paul Nashi. Valdemar Daninsky. Are you grave robbing again? I wonder what happened if you, um, Frankenstein, uh, Dracula, the Mummy, and the Wolfman together. I should try that sometime. 
Anybody know where um, I, can, I, I can get a Dracula or a their wolf? Hey, I was going to rob this grave. Wow, they're they're working hard. You know, can somebody say something? Please say something. Oh great, my tenant Naya is back. I keep hearing a buzz. I think they're trying to predict to whether or not there's gonna be an earthquake too. A silver bullet in his heart only immobilized him, left him seemingly dead. Now we gotta stitch him back up. Okay, uh, we might need you to make a joke here or something. His death is permanent only if the bullet is fired by a woman who loves him enough to die with him. Wow. So I guess no woman was, uh, loved him enough because this is the thir third one of twelve. This was a franchise before franchises were a franchise in America. Well, Universal was a franchise, and um, Hammer Horror had to franchise. Alona. But that's we'll just beside the, the point. Of the serum, which will prevent him from being transformed into a werewolf. Werewolf. You will be fully responsible for him. But I'm not ready for that kind of responsibility, the sir. Contagion of the vampire. Or the mummy. Murderer who obeys only the cabals of Egypt, or the Frank Seller monster. The Frank Seller. We shall make thousands of. I think I went there once. Um, really nice wine. Of this not like not 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 like a child whining. Um, you know, this was like a really nice. You know, the, this wine had a really nice voice to it. It was like, oh, but I don't really want to do that. Is he a man or a monster? Yes. The eternal dilemma of mankind. Good and evil. The paradox. Peanut butter. Chocolate. Peanut butter. Jelly. Peanut butter jelly. With a baseball bat. Now I'm just making random references. Because I'm clever. Uh, you no. Know, I bet the lockpicking lawyer could get out of those easily. He's, he's having a bad dream. Dreaming that he was in this movie. Uh oh. Uh, I think John Belushi hit puberty. Somebody got a tan. You know, I hope that uh, those dungeon walls weren't shoddily constructed. Oh, never mind, they were. Looks like the work of a wild animal. Four women have vanished, and two murders in a peaceful town where nothing ever happens. So, Everybody's Cleveland? Us. Most of all, the mayor. What? Come in. It was the first time that popped into my head. What can I say? Yeah, that that is uh, incredible. I can't believe you uh, you did that with just some macaroni and glue. It's amazing. I I think your macaroni art is truly improving, sir. On the road, uh, that's concrete. Well, more asphalt over here, but you get my point, right? Yeesh. 
Some people are always critics. Oof. He needs a shave. No, oh, you're welcome. What? Somebody in a movie actually getting on the other side of the car? You know, you should be saving that for the back seat. You can get the steering wheel, wheel right up your bottom. And that really hurts. It had to happen once. Do you want me to take you home? Oh, I've left my shawl back there. I'll get it. I guess, uh... She wants her shawl not to be taken home. You know, those things will kill you, lady. And so will that thing. Um, I think she just stole a car. What's your boyfriend gonna think when he finds out you stole his car? Probably not very good things. Ooh, uh... Um... I hope it's not going where I think it's going to go. I really hope it doesn't. Oh, she's got the same kind of haircut as he does. Oh, oh. Okay, he's just killing her. <sighs> I thought he was going to get, like, really creepy. He can only make that look because of the fake teeth. Yeah! Rock on! What, I gotta groove out, man. Wish I could move my arms right now. No, Inspector. I think they said something bad in that 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 that, that part. There was a full moon last night. I bet yes. Nothing. Yes, uh, somebody was showing their butt out a window. But that guy just shows his butt outside the window all the time. We have a full moon constantly in this neighborhood. Right. Thank you. I complain, but got a nice butt. Oh god, rock and roll's really changed. It's used to make the guilty confess. To drag secrets from spies. Ultrasonic waves. So somebody's uh, turned up the volume on the Dr. Sonic screwdriver. Got it. What are you doing to poor, poor Paul Nashy? What did he ever do to you? This occasion we shall use it as a punishment. The escape of Valdemar could have endangered our plans. You know, you're a very bad boss if you're going to use torture as a punishment. When you already cut her pay and took away her benefits. You know, maybe you guys should unionize. Um, he's kind of a bad boss. Not a great boss. 
Not a great boss at all. Oh, Voldemort does not like that at all. This movie just likes making women scream, doesn't it? I do not like the evil, the evil extraterrestrials. Not all of us are that bad. Contact me. The tomb of Tau Tep, the mummy, oh. has now been located. Rocky side of Jebel Karib. Hypogeum of King Amun Ra. The reflection Ooh, tiny. of light in the solid gold mirror transmits orders to the mummy. So. She just got out of the shower. Come in, Martha. Oh, I was expecting a girlfriend. I thought it was her. <laughs> My name is Henry Toberman. I'm from the city police department. I'd like to question you about what happened last night. Come up, please. Excuse me just a moment. Yes, you might want to get dressed. Um, don't want to give him the wrong idea. That you walk around in your towel all day, I mean. I don't. I only walk around and tell some of the day. Henry Toberman. Yes, that's his name, Henry Doberman. Uh, sit down, please. He's a dog. So, you don't remember me, do you? I no, I don't remember you either. You graduated three years ahead of me. Oh, but of course. But you were, I mean... Uh, I know, don't be afraid to say it. I was a skinny little girl with freckles, and you were the captain of the football team. Oh, that description doesn't fit you any longer. Yes, you're the captain of the football team now. But to get back to business. He's just a skinny little boy with freckles. About last night. I really don't expect you to believe me. Your colleagues didn't. I have a very open mind about this subject. Is there any further information you can tell me? Anything at all? Not about last night, but my father, Jack Sternberg, had an incredible experience when he was young. Yes? He personally knew a werewolf. Personally knew... He personally knew a werewolf? Oh, lucky man! Oh, my! I bet the... Hmm, was amazing. Wow. I'm getting lewd. Oh, I just got hit. Oh, no, it's gonna run over my head! Oh, good, stopped. I didn't want it running over this hair. I spent a lot of time on my hair. And it's not even great. Come with us. No, no, no. Why not? Come on. No. No, I don't want to come with you. You're leading me to a mummy's lair, aren't you? You're leading him into a mummy's lair. Not good. Not good at all. There are 16 grains of sand in my hand right now. Oh, well, that guy's dead. Oh, so is that one. Oof, so is that. Oh, and that one. Come in. Oh, you're not knocking? Oh, 
Yo, I think that's breaking and entering. I think that's illegal. This is another crime of this movie. The biggest game is watching this movie. Bum bum. What? I had to make a joke. I couldn't resist. I never resist making jokes, though. You know, I think that man's t-shirt's on really tight. I, I cannot see what's going on. Tight t-shirt man, go get him. Ow! Ow! Oh, somebody's shining a flashlight over there. You know, this scene could have been lit a lot better. Just saying. Maybe make some atmospheric candlelight or something. Or just light it better. It's just dark. I mean, it could be the print too. Oh, so they're at a resale store. No, you could probably just go into the door and not have to knock a wall down. D wait, be careful, there's a gold in there. I mean, you know, Ra was blown up by a nuke, but um, there are plenty of others. Yeah, you see, he's already waking up. Mommy, is that you? I think that's my mummy. I think mummy's in a microwave now. Why are you nuking a mic mummy? Hopefully. So, why are the, 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 the bad aliens raising the dead again? Is this like Plan 8 from Outer Space? Yeah, you might want to back away, tight shirt. No, you could have just ducked. It would have been easier. My god, he's staring right into our souls again. Aw, a hug! The mummy just wanted to give him a hug. How sweet. Ow. The official account of the attack on your daughter. But there was a full moon that night. And your daughter told me that you actually knew a werewolf. Yes, a werewolf. It was an incredible experience. Something the mind refuses to accept. 
but it happened. My wife. My wife. Voldemar Daninsky was in love with the woman who was later to become my wife. My wife. Yes, he was a normal man. Like I, I cannot do the board at voice, I'm sorry. A man of good family, cultivated, intelligent, until God knows why, he was afflicted with this horrible curse. Well, there's plenty of reasons for that. Um, plenty of reasons. Let's see here. Let me look this up here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look up uh, Voldemort. We're probably actually some things. Oh, lovely park scene. Ah, the, the skinny little freckled boys and the captain of the football team. How sweet! Oh, oh, thank goodness. We were we, we were saved from the the perversion of them making out on a tree. Yes, master. Right away, master. I gotta let this guy suck my, I, I I gotta get let this guy get a bite. <laughs> Maybe he likes Sour Patch Kids. He was able to hypnotize you. Yes, he was. Now I guess he should be punished. Oh, oh, that's painful. Where do you have Daninsky? There's one danger we must guard against. We are occupying the bodies of Earth people. Creatures of a planet much younger than ours. Their feelings and emotions are very strong. They are impulsive and unpredictable. We must be constantly on our guard. We must always yes, you, know, you should have swords at all times. Our superior minds must at all times be in complete control. It was just a moment of <sighs> this is this is the problem with the egotistical extraterrestrials. In this world, wars have been lost and For instance, I'm an extraterrestrial living on your world. And I'm a moron. The mummy is our ideal. His heart is dried up. It doesn't feel, doesn't live, doesn't beat. He's a corpse who walks and obeys. So uh being created by Palantir. Somebody who listens to Alex Jones? He too has no heart. Blood like Alex feet. Jones. Only a brain that obeys. Sorry, I, I have to. I have to make fun. Electricity. But we shall make him even more powerful with our atomic sources of energy. An atomic powered Frankenstein monster. I shall take Valdemar with me. You and Kirian can look after things here. Good. Meanwhile, in a completely different movie. Ah, still scary. I don't like the way that thing looks at me. You know, you might want to get a little more sun, dude. You're looking awful pale there. Trying to build up the suspense. 
Because you know what's going to happen. And you're just waiting for it to happen. But, you know, this is building up that suspense. Music's not helping build up suspense, but, you know, that's why it's taking so long. Now he's got to stare at her for a long time. And you're probably at home going, Bite her! Bite her! Bite her! Bite her! I know, that's what I'm saying in my head. Bite her, bite here. Okay, um... Oh, somebody's got the Angelica Houston eyes. Or, sorry, the Morticia Adam eyes. Uh, uh-oh, I think your burritos are done, sir. Um, bad touch, sir. Bad touch. Um. Sir, you're not welcome in this room. Ah, thank you. Maleva. Aw, they're in love. How sweet. Yes, master. I just got the lab report on the girl. Okay, we're gonna t take a bit of a break here just to uh, well, take a bit of a break, um, so, let me look up, uh, unfortunately there's nothing really on the character, oh, there we go, Valdemar Daninsky, so, The Wolfman, played by Paul Nashi, um, this is his, uh, uh, character, so, he played, um, you know, Daninsky was in 12 different movies. This was the, the third one. He, um, he beat out Lon Chaney Jr. as the Wolfman, obviously. But each one was, um, different. These were standalone movies here. Very much standalone movies. So, you might have something that um, uh, continues on from the others. Let me just uh, start clicking on them here. So, we can give you a small sampling. I have to look through each and every movie of all 12. You know, it's kind of like the Godzilla films in a sense, um, where... One, um, you know, after after a little while, you know, they completely reboot, you know, they'll forget about everything but the first movie. And then they'll just, like, restart with a new second, you know, version of the second movie. So, for instance, this one, um, um, do, do, do. So, um, Count, you know, in the first one, Count Voldemar Daninsky is attacked by a werewolf. And, is, you know, gives him lycanthropy. And then he is killed by Janice, the woman who loved him most. And that's the first one. Um, second movie was lost. Um... Basically, the, you know, movie was shot, then they ran out, you know, then um, the, the, the film was sent off for processing and the, the director um, was killed in a car accident. The lab didn't get paid, so, you know, they got rid of it. Hmm, but... You know, there there is supposedly a second movie that 
you know, never happened. But according to Paul Nashi, um, uh, Walter Martininsky is a student that suffers from lycanthropy and is controlled by sound waves throughout the movie. And he was probably shot, you know, by a woman who loved him most. Dracula vs. Frankenstein is this one. He's brought back from the dead. Fury of the Wolfman um, was a college professor who travels to Tibet and is bitten by a yeti, which causes him to become a werewolf. And he is in turn shot to death by uh, Karen, a woman who loves him enough to end his torment. Then we have... Well, Pergus Knight, Werewolf versus the Vampire Woman in, in America. Um, the, um, you know, like, uh, Voldemort Daninsky's uh, revived back to life. But now we got, like, what, two different origins, at least. Three, you know, two, three different origins. Um, in the Dr. Jekyll and the Wolfman, the next one, um, he's a Spanish landowner. Who's searching for a cure to his lycanthropy? No cure, and he is uh, shot dead with a little bullet fired by a woman who loved him enough to end his torment. Paul Nashi wrote most of these movies, by the way. I guess he just wanted a, a woman that uh, wanted a girlfriend that you know loved him enough to end his torment. Um, in the next one, return. Of the, the, the Walpurgis. Um, well, it's an ancient curse. Wealthy Count Waldemar Daninsky uh, kills a wolf uh, who transforms back into a gypsy and is cursed by a gypsy to become a werewolf. Very, you know, this was a different time. Very racist. Then we've got Curse of the Beast, which is another Tibet one. Where he is captured by um, a cannibalistic werewolf woman while searching for a yeti. In oh wow, we're so far there. Um, so we once again, uh, Waldemar Daninsky is basically old curse, family curse. This time from um, a Mongol chieftain um, placed upon an ancestor. Um, then the one from 1996, a, a um, uh, Walter Martininski is, um, well, he was born a lycanthrope, and, um, was killed by a woman who loved him most in his torment. And then Tomb of the Werewolf, which is the last one, number 12. He's not playing Valdemar Daninsky. He's playing Richard Daninsky, a descendant of Valdemar Daninsky. And it's got um, Elizabeth Bathory, the vampire. Oh, sorry, never mind. He is playing Valdemar Daninsky, um, who's, well, yeah. As you can see, Many different origins. Many different origins, like 12 different origins for 12 different movies. Well, not really, but sometimes it just feels like that, doesn't it? Okay. Back to um, this movie. Assignment to Terror, or The Man Who Came from Umo, uh, here on Shocking Theater. They came from some kind of animal. Yes, well, that about clinches it. We'll head for Blaustadt immediately. You will? There's something there I've got to check. Still so will go with us. I it's my bank account. He's got to check his bank account. Superintendent Glucks. Good. She'll be safe there? She will. No, she won't. And now they're using the disco ball to mind control Frankenstein's monster, Adam. Um, that's spark. Is that supposed to be doing that? I, I I don't think that's supposed to be doing that. 
It doesn't look safe when it's doing that. Go, oh, you can see the prosthetic seam on his forehead. Oh, they just used little knots. They didn't even strap them down proper. Oh, no, mind. I'd be even scaring a dubbed Michael Rennie. I don't think you can see your eyes. Maybe you should just open the eyes. You can see where he's going. Um, Frank, where you going there, Adam? I think Adam went on. Adam Frankenstein's now, um, probably gonna go start a knitting project or something. Ah, he's gotta use the restroom. It's down that hall. Merely a test. We shall soon find out if he obeys orders. Send out the mummy. I know, he did that with his eyes closed. Why are you abusing Waldemar Daninsky? Part of the Valta Martiniski multiverse. Oh. Uh oh. I think he wants to punish you now. Do you, do you really want to kill your werewolf? No, you're you're pretty cruel. No, you 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 are definitely cruel. You know, you could like I said earlier ask for assistance. Will create problems. Make us susceptible to psychic changes. Some people just don't want to ask. They just don't want to be ask, ask a polite question. Some people are just weird. Ah, dinner's right where I left it. He wanted to check on something. Wow. 
quiet. They're probably worried they're gonna wake the dead. That's not where I left that corpse. Uh-oh. She just fell in love with him. Through love in an instant. Don't be afraid. I'm not here to stop you. Go. Go on. Okay, so that scene was um there. Uh, you know, there's uh, no smoking in here, sir. Ah, the 70s. In Europe. Drinking and smoking at the same time in a restaurant. Now you have to put down your cigarette before you take a drink. I don't think this is hard enough. That guy is Give me another. Really creepy, even for somebody in the you know, even for the nineteen seventies. DoorDash. I I I got your tiki masala here. Huh, I was lying. That's called human contact, sir. I know what you and it is a very strange sensation. As if we'd loved each other previously. It's like something half forgotten. Like a faraway memory. Returning again, isn't it? Perhaps it's the passion. The weakness, Dr. Varnoff warned us about. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, oh, you're a creep. Oh. Oh, he's watching it? Oh, my. Oh, he's a creep. Michael Rennie, don't watch this. Let them have their privacy. Oh, now you got Adam involved. For shame, Michael Rennie. For shame. You know, you're going to run out of assistance this way. This is it. It's just... Mm, no. So when are Dracula and Frankenstein going to fight? Oh. 
Oh, don't get, don't tell me you're jealous. I mean, I'm jealous that he can walk around with his eyes closed too. So when's the mummy going to come into this? There is a mummy in this movie, right? I don't even know what that was supposed to be. Maybe him becoming the golem? I don't know. Um, yes, uh, uh, this is about your, uh, the deal you wanted to buy that bridge? That bridge in Brooklyn? Um, yes, the sale has gone through, um, yes, yeah, so we're ready to close on it right now, yes, sir. Okay, I guess he's, uh, okay, okay sir, um, uh, are you already hung up on me? Uh, um, uh, I, I don't know what I'm doing now. Now look, why aren't you at Gluck's house? I'm tired of being locked up like a prisoner. What's going on? My father won't tell me anything. Your father has a very good reason. We don't want you staying here alone. I'm not alone now, am I? Oh, I do think I called you. Oh, my. We're going from, uh, adult scene to adult scene. Um. This is not intended as a punishment, although you might well deserve one. You allowed Elona and Valdemar to escape. We'll never accomplish our mission if you act irrationally, if you let yourself be dominated by emotion. Do you understand why I must do this to you? Yes. I'm a woman with a woman's intuition. You will have to do it for the same reason you killed Kirian. You were jealous of him. Yeah, he was. That's why you want me to forget him. He's not a nice guy, Mr. Rennie. He's not. You yourself have become contaminated. You yes, he has. Can you forget? <laughs> I think it was funny if you crossed her eyes right there. You'd better get dressed. Superintendent Gluck. Oh, superintendent? No, no, no. She's all right. She's at her own house. Oh, wow. Uh, but the captain of the football team's all over you, sir. You better get up and get dressed. No, no, no. She's all right, Chief. Get dressed. I'll assume full responsibility. Get dressed. No, Chief. No, no, no. I haven't been drinking. No, sir. Uh, one other thing. Uh, Chief, you might want to get dressed, Chief. That some strange foreigner bought the monastery. Uh, yes, sir. That's right. Uh, Dr. Varnow. I think we ought to check it out. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Hilda, will you please get dressed? Don't you like me without freckles? With or without freckles, your clothes... Yeah, well, no, he wants to see you in his clothes. He wants to use your clothes by himself. He, he, he's trying to explore the... That he's, try, he's trying to explore that side of himself. And you just happen to be his size. Wow, that was one hell of a party. I found out Sternberg's address. He's the district judge. You've decided. If you're caught, you'll be arrested. You know that. I know. I'm cursed. We've no future. No. There's none. There's no future. Wow, uh, somebody's a little morbid. If a silver bullet is... Is fired by a woman who loves you enough to die with.
All of them would fall for Valdemar. I can hear resist that man. It's strange. I know I can't. Since I was a small child, I've always dreamed that I'm... Kill a werewolf? Die killing a werewolf. Die it while killing a werewolf. Kiss a werewolf. Do other adult things with a werewolf. Dance the um, Calypso with a werewolf. Dance the Mamushka with a werewolf. Well, so much for getting out of there. Dr. Varnoff? Please come in. Dr. Varnoff is waiting for you. I'm waiting for this movie to start. I'm waiting for the plot to make sense. We're about to receive a visit from one of your people. One of my people. In a sense. The system of incarnation is not perfect. There's a flaw somewhere. Something of the alien race remains. A certain sensitivity to physical contact. Perhaps an imperceptible reflex to tones of voice. To the expression of the eyes. Something I cannot quite define. Do you think of me as an enemy? Yes. No. He You're does. You're an individual under my domination, which is quite different from being an enemy. You can't dominate shit, old man. Point two eight seven. Shall I accelerate the reaction? Yes, do that. Ah, I see. We have a cop here now. Two cubic centimeters. Uh, Good afternoon, Inspector Toberman. Good afternoon, Dr. Varno. I think we've met before. Yes, at the Golden Egg. Uh, forgive me if I don't receive you personally, but as you can see, I'm extremely busy. I suppose you're wondering why I've come here. I know why. And your suspicions are well founded. But you're still not quite certain. Am I mistaken? Ah, uh, yes, that you've been killing no. people. You seem confused, Inspector Toberman. Perhaps if you looked at the screen behind you, it would clarify matters. If it's another picture. If it's another Michael Rennie, you know, you might just would want you to believe leave. me if I told you we've come from the planet Umu, some fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> Umu. It would be presumptuous of us to assume that the Earth is uh, the only inhabited planet in the universe. And what of the legends of monsters? Vampires, werewolves, the Frank Seller monster. What's your opinion? Many the Frank Seller. are being transformed into reality by modern science. Transplants of heart and kidney, the cornea, perhaps in the near future even the brain. I have no doubt it'll soon be possible to create a Frank Seller monster. Our race mastered these techniques centuries ago. That's our mission here, to study the manufacture of monsters who will destroy mankind. Oh! Right. Exposing this to be true. Why are you exposing yourself to me now? Because I know the future, including yours. Yeah, and are it you is. I'm curious to know what will happen tonight, Inspector Toberman. What's the future? I probably went to a fortune teller. You recognize her? Ilsa. Oh. Michael Rennie, you're a jerk. Michael oh, Rennie's a jerk. Positive factor. And now the most interesting point. Observe. 
You know, um, if this was happening in America. You're not the first individual who has meddled with my plans. Wait, that's me. These bones are all that remain of the other intruders. Observe the sleeping bats. They will awake, they'll fly around you, and when they sense you're defenseless, they will attack your eyes till nothing remains but two bloody sockets. How can he see with his eyes closed? Oh my god, that man suffered a severe burn. Somebody must have insulted him. Incredible, isn't it? Yes, exactly that. <laughs> Now we're back into a completely different movie. One with chipper music. Judge, 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 judge. Superintendent Gluck, we and all the people of this town are extremely concerned. Not one of these recent murder cases has been solved by your department. Furthermore, this is Dr. Varnoff. Mr. Mayor, one of my best men, Inspector Tovarin, is in charge of these cases, and I'm just expecting a report from him. Gentlemen, I have some information which until now I have concealed for personal reasons. Yes. Realize, I yes. In this matter than any of you, since it is I have a roast duck in the oven Mr. right now. We're doing everything in our power to find your daughter, assuming that her absence isn't of her own volition. What is this information? Why haven't you divulged it? Because nobody would believe me. Mr. Mayor... You're right, I don't believe you. Martinsky. Well, he's still alive. I've seen him and talked to him. He has something to do with what is happening at the monastery. Oh, great. It's always Valdemar's fault. Why don't you just blame yourselves? All right. We'll pay a visit to that monastery. And anybody who wants to come along will obey my orders. Is that clearly understood? Okay, now, so we're cutting back to the, 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 the scene on the TV. Now he's waking up again. So how's our intrepid hero uh, going to get out of this one? Uh... Stay tuned for next week's episode of the Walter Walter Martinsky Files. Just so you know, he probably was really struggling to do that. The man was a weightlifter. Paul Nashley was into bodybuilding. Hurry. The full moon is not going to wait. Where's Ilsa? I don't know. Maybe in the cellars. Who's Ilsa? Why is Ilsa? What's Ilsa? I'm surprised he didn't have a heart attack. I would have. But I'm just watching the movie, so I'm fine. Unless um, some creepy ta taxidermy uh, creature is staring right into my soul. Then I'm not fine. Isha. Isha. Elsa. And now, not Dracula is going to fight with the cop. Watch. Mm. 
Okay, now maybe we'll get Dracula vs. Frankenstein? Because that was one of the titles as of this movie. Well, I guess he's not going to die in this movie. This one should have been called Paul Nashi versus the Aliens. I do like the way they're handling the transformation. We're still seeing it gradually, but not with, like, super, you know, not with, like, effects. Nothing like um, something Rick Baker would come up with or anything. But through clever editing. And shadows. And body language. This is a good uh, transformation scene. I do like this one. We kind of get a sense that it's happening gradually, though we can't see it all. Okay, so we're not getting a Frankenstein versus Dracula, are we? Unless uh, he's a Frankenstein monster. Better run, fake Dracula. What's this uh, Dracula's name again? Count Clanos. Well, Count uh, Clanos, who's definitely a Dracula, is now gone. Now, can we defeat Frank Seller? So, the name was wrong. This is not a Dracula vs. Frankenstein movie. I was robbed, man! I wanted to see Dracula uh, fighting Frankenstein. And I am not getting Dracula uh, fighting Frankenstein. I'm disappointed. This movie's disappointed me. I don't want to talk about it. Don't cry. This movie made me sad. I want a Dracula vs. Frankenstein, and I'm not getting either. Uh oh, the cops are after me. Crap, I better hide. Can't see me down here, can they? I don't think they can see me. I'm gonna hide a little bit more. 
I don't think they can still see me. Are they going to arrest Dr. Varnoff? No comment. I don't think your monster plan is working all that well. I think the, I think the mummy's getting yeah. So which one's Elsa? Oh, there's Elsa. There, that's the, that looks like captain of the football team. Oh no, wait, that's the captain of the football team. So, are we going to at least get some Wolfman versus Mummy action? Oh, good. At least that the, the Mummy doesn't have hypnotizing powers. So, mummies are afraid of fire. Uh, that's a new one to me. Well, they are kind of dried out. Maybe if you use a little moisturizer, you, you won't be so afraid of fire. So... Let's get rid of the aliens, okay? Let's make this movie better. L oh, there, never mind. Werewolf versus mommy! 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 Werewolf versus mommy! Yeah! No, yeah, stay with the werewolf. Stay with Voldemar versus the mummy. Oh! No longer able to control them. That's good. Uh, Frank and Teller, uh, where, 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 so, werewolf was fighting mummy. Sounds like Commissioner Gordon. Get him, Voldemar. So we get the thing that is dead versus the thing that can't die. Oh good, she's still alive. Round and round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Oh, fire! A burning ring of fire. It smells like burnt mummy. Never a pleasant smell. So we're gonna get werewolf versus Franken Frankenseller? Frank Seller? Oh sorry. Farong Faronxalon. Faronxalon. I'm reading the name out loud. Faronxalon. Keep back there. Keep back. Oh great, now the military's involved. You got unit involved in this one? Well.
mean, this is unit's bag. So you gotta have him go out the narrow end. Couldn't you have him go out the wider end? Werewolf versus Frankenstein! Werewolf versus Frankenstein! Wait a second, is he wearing a blue shirt? I don't think that's Waldemar Daninsky. I think that's Bruce Campbell. Bruce Campbell versus Frankenstein. <laughs> I should pay to see that movie. All those monsters are in the public domain. I mean, I already saw Bruce Campbell fighting a mummy. That, 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 uh, creature is, uh, definitely not afraid of fire. Well, uh, that was uh, not the epic fight I was hoping it would be. Um, that's not how you pick up a woman, Voldemar. Usually you use your hands. Well, that ends him for this movie. The next movie is, uh, we'll see him again in The Fury of the Wolfman. Released in, or made in 1970. Which was, uh, released in 1974. In America. I don't think there's a way out. We're trapped. When those two clouds of gas meet, it is pointless to try to escape, Dr. Varnum. You must pay the price of failure. Have you anything useful to inform us? Yes. We won't be able to destroy them. The passion which we believed was their weakness is what makes them really strong. Oh, you finally figured it out, didn't ya? Can we eliminate these feelings? Possibly. But then would life be worth living? We must survive. We shall try other methods. Anything else? Yes, well, I'm in time. Yes, using monsters to try to conquer the world. She be spared. Not a good idea. Forgetting that Dr. Castine has ceased to live on Earth. Okay, so she faded away. Um, wasn't expecting that. Wasn't expecting her just to kind of fade away. I think that's meant she's supposed to be teleported away. Well, there goes that set. themselves for others. 
nothing will destroy us. Well, um, not as a species, but individually, you know, things can still, um, yeah. So that was the Monsters of Terror, aka Assignment Terror, aka Operation Terror, aka a movie about a wolfman, aka Shirley Lamore. I don't hate this movie. I mean, it's not a great movie. I mean, the bad guy's plot. Kind of incomprehensible. All in all, just not a great film. But at the same time, it had, it had its moments. Um, Paul Nashy delighted as the Wolfman, like always. Uh, I mean, I love his Wolfman movies. He was a rare talent. I'm glad he was with us for the short time he was. I enjoyed him. Um... I love the transformation, you know, that second transformation where, you know, just, you kind of see getting it in cuts. That's a great low-budget way of doing a werewolf transformation. You don't need to go, like, fancy CG effects or um, puppet effects like what Rick Baker did. You can get away with just some edits, and I really did enjoy that. I didn't like the fact that Michael Rennie was dubbed. I don't know why he was, um, but I didn't really like that. Because the man was a good actor. Unfortunately, I do believe this was his um, final movie. I'm not positive. Let me see here. Um, unfortunately, yeah. It does not say. But as the last movie, this would, would not have been a great one to go out on for such a good actor. But like I said, it was I, I I it wasn't a great movie, but I can only say I enjoyed it. I did enjoy this movie. I can say that about a lot of movies. I'm not gonna show something I don't enjoy. I mean to be perfectly honest. And I hope uh I hope you enjoyed it too. And uh, I hope I see you all again uh, next week when I show something different. Until then, take scare. Good fright and pleasant screams. Bye.